16th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Lord, you are good and forgiving. Today's Gospel is from Matthew 13 24 to 43. Jesus put another parable before them, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a man who sowed good seed in his field, but while his men were sleeping, his enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and went away. So when the plants came up and bore grain, then the weeds appeared also. And the servants of the master of the house came and said to him, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? How then does it have weeds? He said to them, An enemy has done this. So the servant said to him, Then do you want us to go and gather them? But he said, No, lest in gathering the weeds you root up the wheat along with them. Let both grow together until the harvest, and at harvest time I will tell the reapers, Gather the weeds first and bind them in bundles to be burned, but gather the wheat into my barn. He put another parable before them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like a grain of mustard seed that a man took and sowed in his field. It is the smallest of all seeds, but when it has grown it is larger than all the garden plants and becomes a tree, so that the birds of the air come and make nests in its branches. He told them another parable, The kingdom of heaven is like leaven that a woman took and hid in three measures of flour, till it was all leavened. All these things Jesus said to the crowds in parables, indeed, he said nothing to them without a parable. This was to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet, I will open my mouth in parables, I will utter what has been hidden since the foundation of the world. Then he left the crowds and went into the house. And his disciples came to him, saying, Explain to us the parable of the weeds of the field. He answered, The one who sows the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world, and the good seed is the sons of the kingdom. The weeds are the sons of the evil one, and the enemy who sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the reapers are angels. Just as the weeds are gathered and burned with fire, so will it be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send his angels, and they will gather out of his kingdom all causes of sin and all lawbreakers, and throw them into the fiery furnace. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their Father. He who has ears, let him hear. This is the Gospel of the Lord. These parables illustrate the nature and growth of the Kingdom of Heaven. The parable of the wheat and the weeds explains that both good and evil exist in the world, and they will coexist until the end of the age. The parables of the mustard seed and the yeast show that the Kingdom of Heaven starts small, but grows and permeates the world, ultimately bringing transformation. In the explanation of the parable of the wheat and the weeds, Jesus clarifies that he is the sower of good seed, the field is the world, and the harvest represents the end times when the righteous and the wicked will be separated. The parables highlight the reality of both judgment and eternal reward, emphasizing the importance of discerning and embracing God's kingdom. So let us pray. Loving Father, as we reflect on the parables in Matthew 13 24 to 43, we seek your wisdom and understanding. Help us discern good and evil in the world and remain rooted in your truth. Empower us to be agents of transformation, spreading your love and grace. Prepare our hearts for the harvest, where the righteous will shine in your kingdom. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Type Amen if you feel blessed.